Okay, I want to talk about something very very important. If finishing BSA playlists would make you a great problem solver, India would have had millions of great programmers in the realm of DSA or computer programming. Yet every week I see a lot of students coming to me solve 200, 300, 400 problems from different playlists and telling me sir, I can think of logic but I'm not able to write code or I'm not able to solve new problems that are coming in contests. My rating is not increasing. In contest for them medium problems looks very hard and hard problems impossible. But they are able to solve solve every problem they have seen in the video maybe in the interview their brain freezes to solve a new problem why not because playlists on youtube are bad because they are being used like a syllabus and not a skill i have been on the both sides trying to learn dsa as well as have not taught dsa to thousands of students tens of thousands of students in fact and i can tell you this if you treat dsa playlist like a road map is the fastest way to feel productive but you will get no results today i'll try to explain to you why this happens and what can you change so that it might become like a fuel and not a mistake this is something that we know as endless dsa playlist trap where students are sold completeness as competence complete this sheet and you will become good that's not going to happen why three reasons i have testimony from students who say after solving sheets i can think of the problems that i have solved but i cannot solve new problems i can think of logic but i am not able to implement and under time pressure and without ai i am not able to solve new problems why is this happening Playlists are like maps but if you don't cross the terrain yourself if you don't put in the hard work it will not happen there are two key problems one is mentality based and the other is structural problem let's talk about mentality problems the first thing that students face a lot i don't know why this happens in today's time but it's they are like vivek which playlist to solve can you tell me whose playlist i should solve really is that the question that you are stuck at you keep on hopping from one playlist to other to other watching the same binary search videos again and again with very little practice on actual lead code problem problems rather than just keep watching people explaining problems that you have already understood or you have not understood and you will not even after watching 10 more videos of that kind you should pick any one it really makes no difference there is no difference in quality it's just like a map that you can follow that will help you navigate some of the directions that's it that's all it is don't pick it like a netflix series to watch that after one episode you'll jump to another episode of some other series the second mentality problem that i've seen is people feel like sheets are like ultimate syllabus for jobs i can make you count thousands lakh of student in today's time who have completed sheets to a good amount of progress and have not gotten job if you are seeing some people who are getting job after completing sheets that's just confirmation bias nobody are talking about people who have completed 400 problems are still not able to solve the problems if it would have been true that if you do a sheet and you are done then probably every top coder would have just completed a sheet and they would have become a top coder go and ask anyone if they have completed a sheet and become a top computer programmer or a guardian on lead code or any different place i don't think they'll agree to that you need to understand there are four levels of prep that you need to do level 1 you need to learn a language level 2 you need to learn about dsa the standard algorithms and some classic problems which essentially the playlist serve a purpose for then level 3 you have to become competitive you should be able to implement faster you should be able to solve questions in contest you should be able to solve questions till a knight or a guardian level on lead code and that's in contest not in practice this is the type of people who are actually getting selected in different shortlists that are happening not the people who are completing dsa playlists or they are getting selected in the places where there is luck involved i think it's involved everywhere but again if you want to make your dsa prep at a level where you can ascertain that you will be able to crack an oa or this probably you need to reach level 3 or level 4 which is like almost an icpc type of prep i don't recommend everybody to go into icpc and all but you can do that if you want but at least in level 3 where you are able to participate in contest and perform is what you should try to attain most people are like at level 2 and they expect a level 3 result which is never going to happen the third mentality thing that i have seen in students is when i try to tell them ki acha no you can do this why are you doing this if you are not understanding why are you still doing three problems and memorizing them if you are still not able to solve and they tell me vivek kuch to kar raha hu right this phrase kuch to kar raha hu it's so dangerous it's like saying you are at a you have to go to b there is a direction which is taking you towards c and you are walking that side somebody is asking you why are you not walking this way or why are you not doing this way and you are saying that because i don't know which direction it will be i'll just keep randomly walking on one direction believe me when i say this direction matters more than your effort in all domains in all respect that is the reason why some people take 2 to 3 to 4 months to grow fairly fast and some people even after years cannot do dsa so step out of this kuch to kar raha hu zone and be like should i do something productive what is the right way i have talked about this in multiple of my videos that what can be the right regime of doing practice of problems and all sheets are good you can pick them to learn a new topic but that is not going to make you good at solving questions in a contest you have to do a practice in mixed fashion too you have to learn harder concepts as well now i'll come to two most systematic problems that i'm facing and i have to almost reboot my students to think in a different way from scratch because they have seen these sheets and they have a certain practice and they are not able to come out of it and it's almost like a drug given to them 
listen to me very very carefully most of my students are at this point covid students who had their je period or their engineering phases in covid and they were almost watching a lot of videos on online prep post that when they went to college they had a habit of watching youtube and they have been watching playlists endlessly without actually coding and when they went to coding they suddenly had ai come into picture so now they are able to paste it in gpt and get their code corrected you never thought about a problem on your own before looking at its solution you never implemented without seeing the solution because videos mostly cover the coding solution of the questions so you watched it before solving it you never debugged your codes because ai was able to do it all three problems in one place which makes zero progress practically possible even after solving 500 problems just correct these three things you are watching solutions without trying try for 20 30 minutes before you look at the solution of the problem you know a problem that you are going to try try it for 20 minutes and then look at solution don't look at code before trying to code yourself because that is going to impair your implementation skills and the third thing that you have to ensure is you are not debugging with ai the maximum you should be allowed is that you can ask something on ai about syntax you should not be able to copy the code and paste it in ai and get the response and paste it back that's not how you debug if that is what you are doing and that is what you are good at probably you are not hireable at this point in time you will not be able to debug your own codes in an interview setup and this is the biggest problem of watching playlists you can keep watching endless number of videos and you will still not improve because all of them has directly logic told as well as codes shown so none of your implementation skills and that's why you're not able to code with even if you get a logic of a question because you never practiced it and the second systematic problem is people feel oh 400 450 problem ho gaya i'm done no contest nothing no reality check and then they go and sit in placement tests and they feel like why i'm not getting shortlisted and why i'm able to not solve maybe try to cheat here and there a little bit but still not able to get into companies in practice you get unlimited time you have ai to help you which you might abuse but even if you don't you have ai to help you some of the platforms like lead code show you test cases which you can see and debug your questions and every video tutorial is one step away when you give contest is when you actually grow you don't have these things you have to struggle and then learn it that's when retention happens in your brain you have to read hard editorial texts to understand step by step how proofs are working and then only you will be able to solve new problems always add as much contest as possible beyond a certain amount of practice 200 300 problems you have done good start giving contests that should be your regime for practicing dsa lead code weekly happens every week i keep taking streams on discussing different ideas that are involved in the problems at least in the medium and hard problems watch those streams you will understand so many new things that are not even present in any of these playlists try to analyze your own performance after the contest and see which topic you are failing on and try to improve on that that should be your regime not like taking it like a syllabus and watching the videos and thinking the videos complete kar liya ho gaya that's not going to happen okay playlists aren't the villain okay just because i'm making this video doesn't mean playlists are villain the creators have put in a lot of good work and the playlists are super helpful for someone who is not able to solve that problem but it's not a syllabus that you can complete and get job it's not please drop that mentality and build good systems stop chasing the best seat pick any one start that's the starting point just the level 2 prep you have to get till level 3 to get selected in most companies okay at this point i feel this is becoming more of a rant video but i just felt this innate sense that so many of my students who are joining at algos and it also face the same problem and i'm not able to stress upon how much this practice of doing the wrong thing early on in their career has been affecting them so please correct it while you can if you are looking at this video before even starting and if you have done this then please try to correct it from here forth that's all in this channel i keep creating more such videos to try to help you step by step in this journey of getting to job preparation as well as to be good at problem solving if you are interested in more such things please subscribe to the channel if you are interested in growing more in contest watch the lead code live streams that i take on my channel and you will certainly learn a lot of good tricks that's all from my side in this particular video see you in the next one bye bye